Hello friends, I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to talk about new rent related regulation which government of Western Australia brought in. We all are paying high rents and if that is not enough, our landlords sometimes increase the rent without prior notice or even if they give a notice, they doesn't give us a sufficient time period to adjust to it or sometimes the increase is too frequent. In order to contain all of this and in order to bring it under regulation, the government of Western Australia from 29 July has brought certain regulation. So if you're a renter in Australia, if you're an international student here, or if you're planning to rent a property here, you should definitely look into this video. So let's see if you are a periodical rental agreement holder with no end date, how this regulation affects you. So for you, the minimum 12 month window will apply now irrespective of when you last signed your agreement. So if you are in a periodical rental agreement with your owner with no end date, and if the last rent have been increased yesterday, then from yesterday for next 12 months, your rent will not be increased. It is regardless of when the agreement was signed. But if you are in a fixed term rental agreement, which was signed on or after 29 July and your agreement has an end date, then the minimum 12 month period will apply because your rental agreement was signed on 29 July or after that. So if you sign, if you're, if you're signing a fixed term rental contract today, then from today for the next 12 months, your rent won't be increased. But one thing you should be careful about that if you are in a fixed term rental agreement with an end date and your agreement was signed before 29 July, before this new regulation came into picture, then the, when this facility of 12 months will apply only once you, once your current contract matures. So for example, if you signed a contract of fixed term on 28 July, then this 12 month facility will apply only when your next contract is signed with your tenant after the date of 29th July. So these are the three basic you know, fundamental change in the rental agreement, which has brought, which has been brought by the government of Western Australia. But the question is how rent can be increased now? So if the agent or the landlord must use form 10, this is somewhat the form 10s look like and they have to give you 60 day notice period. It's just not that they have to give you only 60 day notice period, but they also have to mention the date from which the new rent will be, uh, will be active and how much the rent is gonna be. So now you will get a form 10 clearly mentioning the date and clearly mentioning the amount and giving you 60 days to plan your things before your new rent come into effect. Now let's go to the next set of this regulation. Can I bring in my pet? Yes, you can bring in your pet in most circumstances. Uh, your uh, landlord will not refuse it, but they can still refuse it if they feel that the property is not sufficient or safe enough for your pet, or there is a good legal reason for them to refuse for to bring you a pet. But if you are refusing it under these special conditions, they have to prove it in front of the Commissioner for Consumer Protection that this property cannot have the pet. Otherwise, mostly you are allowed to bring the pet and landlord will allow, uh, will welcome that, but they are in well within the right to take an extra bond from you to ensure that your pet does not damage the property or does not create unnecessary mess. And if it does, then it can be compensated from that bond. And that bond will be not be included into a rental bond. That will be a separate bond. So yes, you can bring in your pet, but you have to ensure that your pet does not harm the property and the owner or the agent of the owner are well within the right to ask you an extra bond in order to ensure that the property is not harmed by your pet. But then can you do the modifications to your home? Yes, as of 29 July or from 29 July 2024 to help make a rental feel like a home, small personalized changes will be allowed and it will be termed as a minor modification. There are entire list which you can do it by yourself. Uh, I'll be sharing the link of the form, the link of this new regulation, the link which lists the minor modification. But just to summarize in this video, the minor modifications which you are allowed to do it, it relates to your family uh, prevention against family violence, furniture and child safety related modifications, changes for disability access, and, and then there are a big list of minor modifications which you are allowed to do it. But just since, but you anyway, you are allowed to do it, but just be sure that you have to fill forms for some of these modifications to be done. And then the forms are all available on the link, which I'm going to put in the description of the video. So this is what, uh, in nutshell, this new regulation, which has come in effect from 29 July is now. It protects you from abrupt increase of the rent. It uh, protects your right to feel your rented home as a home as a home sweet home, it protects your right to keep yourself safe in the rented property, it protects your right to bring in the pet, 
at your rental property, but it also protects the right of the owner of the property to ensure that the property is safe, property is clean from you, and they can act an extra bond if you are bringing in the pet. So friends, let me know how you found, find this video. If this video was useful to you, be kind enough to subscribe, like, and put the comment on. Thank you very much.